Hey, hey, everybody. How you doing? I want to thank every one of you, first and foremost, you know, for liking the page, watching the videos, and the whole nine yards. Um, I'm going to share this on YouTube and Facebook, so uh, I want you to enjoy. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of uh, some of my basic designs, and we may, if we just have the time, may get into some really cool stuff as well. Uh, but I'm going to start off with some of the most popular. Um, obviously, the most popular one is the sword, but I'm going to do a little cooler sword with this one. Um, if you're into the video games and the, the medieval stuff, the uh, the master sword is one that I do that is really awesome. Now, I've kind of, this is not really my own design, but, you know, I've, I've changed it up a little bit um, just to make it a little cooler. I use a chrome 260 um which is actually more than a 260 i don't because this one's a little more than 60 inches completely insulated but that's not that's not the point um but i use a chrome for the blade and you can use any color for the handle i usually choose a black or a uh, you know just just a dark color but let's go with the blade we're going to do the master sword y'all check this out okay now once you blow it up and that's actually really almost the hardest part of this balloon is, is, is getting it inflated. You may have to use a little pump. You want to even it up um, both sides, twist it in half, and then we're going to do what we call a spiral, which is we just twirl it around. And make sure your hands are, your, your hands are real close together when you do this because other than that, you know, it's going to come looking lopsided. It takes a little practice. There's the blade to the master sword. Oh, uh, let's just pick a color. Let's say, um, we'll just grab a green so we have it right here. I'm going to make the handle. Now for the handle, you want to leave about, oh, four or five inches on the end because it will inflate. Now you want to go about, squeeze a little bit of air out of this. We're gonna twist this one around, like so. Just like we did the spiral on the blade. Now for these here, we're gonna take the, the knot, we're gonna come back around here towards the center. Twist that around, now twist it around both sides so you make sure it locks into place. Now remember, we should be, that should be a little bit loose. You don't want it real tight because these hot days, they will pop on you, especially in these outdoor events. We're going to bring this end around, which has the little long tail on it. And you want that little long tail because you want to wrap it around really good. Now you should have something that looks like this. Now, we're going to take the blade, bring this a little closer. We're going to take the blade, and we're going to... Push them in there together, twist both parts of it around. Now you're gonna have a knot. I'm OCD with balloons. I don't like this knot right here. So I'm gonna take that and twist it around right here. So we've got the master sword. Now this is a lot cooler. I could, you know, just make a basic regular, you know, single balloon sword that you see at every, you know, you know, little venture but you know i tried to be make it a little more flamboyant and, and and the chrome for the blade really makes it look cool and the kids they they just one sees one the rest of them has to have it well while we're making weapons let's go ahead and do an assault rifle this can be an ak-47 or this can be an ar-15 so um you know Either way you want to look at it, it's, it's really, it's, it's, it's a cool little gun, you know, and I sell a ton of these at these events. So to show you, we're going to do a great one. And you want to leave about four inch tip on this one. And the reason that I mouth and plate these is because I can actually feel inside the balloon how much air is in there, what is, how much is needed, exactly how much I'm going to need to, um, for all the pinch twists and this is a little more of an advanced balloon so this is going to take you a little 
a little practice to do, but feel free to pause, rewind. I do it all the time, uh, you know, as I was practicing and learning. So, you know, take your time on it. The other one, you're going to blow up exactly the same length. Leave the four inch tail. Now, okay, you want to decide, it doesn't matter. They're going to both exactly the same. Now you can even two-tone these balloons. Uh, if I want to, sometimes some kids want camo, so they'll get a brown one and they'll get they'll get brown and green, and we'll make those camo. We do that a lot, but uh, some of them want them to look a little more realistic, so they'll pick gray or black or uh, brown. Uh, some even pick silver. So it's uh, you know it's kind of however you want to do it. So to make the nozzle. I want to do what we call a tulip twist. So I take the knot, put my finger down in there, and I can do this actually a lot faster while I'm doing it and not just showing. So twist it. And then you should have something that looks like this. Now the other one, you're not gonna leave, you're not gonna do the tulip twist. You're gonna just twist it about four inches. Should have something that looks like this, pinch twist. Bring them together. Should have something that looks like this. Go back down four inches. And I, I'm sorry guys, I just do this fast. Like I said, do it in slow motion if you need to. But once you have something that looks like this, you're just about through. starting to look like a assault rifle already. Now, what we need to do is we need to make our scope and our magazine. So we're gonna, you can use either sides of these. I like to use this one that's got a little bit of tail left because I'm gonna save that one on the end because we're gonna use that for the uh, butt of the gun, so, or the rifle. So for my scope and magazine, it's one twist across here. One twist across here. I go down here. Now, real easy, the next part. Boom, boom. That is the assault rifle. Bang, bang. Okay. Now, oh, some other really cool stuff I'm going to do. I'm trying to think of what is real popular. The unicorn. So I'm going to do a unicorn. And uh, we're going to do some more in another video. So let's, let's do a unicorn. Most popular colors for the unicorns are going to be pink and purple. So let's go ahead and start with the body for the pink. Now, you want to leave a little bit of tail lip, about, about you know, ah, three fingers, you know, three inches, somewhere around there. Now, we're going to do the nose of the unicorn. I'm going to do two bubbles. Pinch twist. Tuck it under. Twist it out. That's going to be kind of like the mouth of the unicorn. Now, we're going to go a hand's length. Twist it. Do one bubble. Pinch twist. One bubble, pinch twist. There's the head of the unicorn. Should have something that looks like that. Now we're gonna go down a little bit. We're gonna go down about two hands length. One, two, fold them in half. Fold that directly in half. We come down about another, oh, I don't know, about one, two, three hands lengths. Fold it in half. You want to, after you do that, you want to tuck these under. I always like, this is my easy way of tying these off. Now, it doesn't look like a unicorn yet, but it will here in a moment. Okay, that is the body of the unicorn without a mane and tail or horn. So, what color do we want to do the mane and tail? Let's, let's say we want to, let's, let's go with the blue. I think blue is cool. I said purple, but I think blue is cool. Same thing, you want to leave about, 
few inches on the end. I mean, it doesn't really matter on the on this because you're going to break a lot of it off. But just make sure it's not like super tight when you you know, inflate it. Now we're going to do three bubbles. One, two, three. Now, I folded it under there. This is something really cool. I always, what I'll do at events is after I get this done, I'll ask the kid to hold this balloon right here while I make the tail. And then whenever I do, I let go of it. And it kind of trips them out because it floats away. And it's, it's funnier when I actually have an audience. But anyway, uh, we're gonna go down. We want the unicorn tail to be about, uh, about a foot, maybe a little less. So let's do about nine, 10 inches. So what I'm gonna do is squeeze this right here. Let go, and I'm gonna tie it again. Do a pinch twist, go to the back of the tail. And there you have a basic horse, but uh, it's not a unicorn because it doesn't have a horn. So we're gonna take a golden rod Bite it in half. Tie it off. And twist it between the ears. Now this is my personal design for the unicorns. No one else has this design for the unicorns, not patented or anything, but you know, this is a Dane the Balloon Man special right here. This is very popular at festivals. Um, and restaurants before uh, the pandemic hit. We did a lot of these. So um, thank you all so much. Uh, Y'all stay tuned for the next video. We're going to do some awesome stuff. The next one's not really going to be a training video. I'm just going to do some awesome balloons with some, uh, you know, background music and things. Uh, thank you all so much. Here, and Y'all have a good one.